True Review is back and this one is going to be a real argument starter. Get ready for round 3 of True Review's top 10 scariest games ever. Before we start though, some rules for you all to keep in mind. No games that I've already mentioned on the previous scariest games lists will reappear, so go and watch those again before you start moaning that Amnesia isn't on here. No game that's in early access, and if you're watching this several months or years after this video came out, then apologies if I didn't mention a game that didn't exist back then. Daylight After waking up in a hospital with absolutely no clue as to how you got there, you conclude that your best option is to escape the facility you now find yourself in. However, you are not alone in this place, as an evil entity is stalking you the entire time. Your only hope now is to uncover the mystery surrounding the deaths of 12 witches and make it out alive before the dead take you instead. Playing a lot like most indie survival horrors nowadays, this game will put you in a dark and foreboding place, equip you with just a map, a light source and your wits, all of which you must use to survive when confronted with an enemy that cannot be killed. Gamers who are looking for a good thrill will not be disappointed with this title. Pathologic Classic HD After being dropped off in a dying town, it is up to you to solve the mystery of the incurable disease known as the Sand Plague. But throughout the entire time in this game, an unsettling feeling will be following you around, giving you the sense that something ominous is lurking right behind you. Some sort of entity is watching your every step, and your every step is a harsh one. Being forced to decide between helping people but losing time in game, resulting in another character's death, or by ignoring the needy but potentially losing valuable resources that could define whether or not you'll survive the next day, Pathologic and its HD remastered version will unnerve you, not with jump scares or dangerous enemies, but with something that most do not consider when it comes to horror villains. That being the human heart and the darkness that dwells within it. Rule of Rose Fans of either the Silent Hill series or Haunting Ground will feel right at home here. Though becoming quite the rare title, this one is a truly creepy and twisted tale. Step back in time to the 1930s and take on the role of Jennifer as you find yourself at a derelict and dark orphanage. However, this orphanage is still inhabited by some of its former children. At first glance, these kids appear to be kind and childlike as you'd expect. However, it is only after finding out about the Red Crown aristocrats, an elitist society that these children are formed, do you realise that what all these children want to do is murder and torture any unsuspecting victims that may just happen to wander into their territory. Abusing Jennifer both mentally and physically, the children force you through a very harrowing and surreal ordeal and will push both Jennifer and the player towards a very dark way of thinking. Like the previous entry, what's truly terrifying with this game is the way in which it demonstrates what human beings are capable of, and how easy it is to twist the player's mind into thinking the same way. Lane Goodman. Seven. Siren Blood Curse Whether or not you liked this one, because honestly, I thought the plot was a little on the stupid side, and a lot of everything that happens didn't make much sense, you still have to appreciate it though to some degree for trying to be innovative and unique by getting us to hide in a closet or under the bed and watch a demented enemy break into the room from both your character's perspective and the enemy's too. This added in a completely new way of building tension and suspense, as now we can see very clearly where your foe was looking and it made it that much more heart pounding when the enemy was sniffing around the closet that you had previously jumped into, with you praying that he'd just move on already. The whole game also has this strange aura about it that's hard to describe, but if I had to describe it in one word, then that'd be demonic. Something dark and malevolent is hanging over you the entire time. You just don't know what it is, and it's for these reasons why this game comes in at number 7. Soma After suffering from a near-fatal car crash, along with various traumatic head injuries, Simon Jarrett agrees to undergo a new and risky procedure to try to improve his condition. But upon passing out during the operation, 
Simon awakens in an underwater facility that now appears to be completely void of life. But that doesn't mean that the facility is uninhabited. Now machines roam the dark and dank corridors looking for any stragglers. But what's more disturbing is that they all think they're human. This game can be compared in many ways to that of the original Bioshock, but with several major differences, such as a darker environment, no weapons, and less places to hide. Being a much more deeper and philosophical title than previous Frictional Games titles, and with an absolutely fantastic but bittersweet ending, Soma is a game that will not disappoint you. Five Nights at Freddy's While I loathe to put this one on here because, quite frankly, I don't get why everyone finds this one scary, mainly because it consists purely of jump scares and the threat of jump scares, it must be noted, however, that this one has received a very warm welcome from the gaming community. Thinking that a late night security detail at the local kids restaurant would be a cinch, you quickly discover that the mechanical playmates that entertain the children during the day want your blood at night. You must now survive the night by utilising the doors, lights and security camera mechanics to keep the creatures at bay in the hopes that you might get to go home at the end of it. Alien Isolation When I first heard that the guys responsible for making the fantastic Total War series were also going to make a survival horror game based in the Alien universe, I thought that it was either going to be really good or really crap. I'm pleased to announce that it was the first instance that came true, rather than the latter. Set between the first and second film in the franchise, you play the part of Amanda Ripley as you go off in search for your missing mother. Unfortunately for you, however, it isn't your mother you discover, but rather a xenomorph infestation, and now, like always, you must try to escape the ship with your life. Though this game does provide you with some weapons from time to time, they're usually few and far between, without even mentioning how rare ammo is, and hiding under a table or in a closet may be your best method of defence. But be warned, as both aliens and synthetics are out for you, and can sense you if you're held up in a nearby hiding space. Careful planning on the fly, and being able to think your way out of a tight spot at a moment's notice, are skills that are vital for completing this game and making it out with your life. A true survival horror game, and a worthy entry on this list. Dreadout An Indonesian indie horror game by the ironically named Digital Happiness, this game will remind you of how good the East is at making convincing and terrifying horror games. What this game understands best is how to fuck with the player, as nothing is as it seems. You are Linda, a high school girl who's returning from a school trip with her class, who unfortunately, find themselves lost on the journey home. After finding an abandoned town, the class try to gather their bearings and find out where they are. But soon the night comes, along with everything that lurks within the darkness. Now Linda's classmates and teacher are missing, and with the vengeful and malevolent spirits of ancient Indonesian folklore come to life, it is up to Linda to rescue her friends from the dead, discover the terrible truth behind all of these hauntings, and escape with her life. Taking the well-known mechanic from the Fatal Frame series, your only defense against the spirits is your cell phone, in which you can use to damage enemies up close. This game knows what you're feeling, and will take advantage of that at every given opportunity, through a variety of horror tropes and techniques that will often make you want to stop playing out of sheer terror. Though this game is still receiving new content, and comes with a whole ton of annoying bugs and unrefined gameplay mechanics, it's still a highly recommended game on my part, and that's why it's in at number 3. Outlast as a journalist, it is always considered common practice to see your investigation through to the end, but Miles could not possibly have guessed what waited for him at the Mount Massive Asylum. Faced completely unarmed against the cruel and sadistic inmates that reside there, you must force your way through the horrors that await and learn the truth behind the killings and experiments that have twisted the insane into something that cannot be called human. Dark environments, frightening enemies, and nothing but your legs and your wits to keep you alive, Outlast is one of this generation's most terrifying games, and naturally earns the number 2 spot on this list. 
It's been one week since you looked at me. Got your hand on the side and said I'm angry. Silent Hill 2. There. Are you happy now? Can we please shut up about it after this? Well, I can't blame you because Silent Hill 2 is not only one of the most horrific and terrifying games to have ever been released, but from an analytical point of view, it's also one of the best made horror games as well. Konami at the time realised that the one thing to explore more and build upon after the first game was the town itself, rather than the story, so now we get to see one of video gaming's most iconic and infamous settings fleshed out in an absolutely beautiful and sadistic way. If you haven't played this game, then I'm not going to touch on the plot as I don't want to give anything away, but what's most impressive with this title is how everything that happens, everything you see, and everything you do is all linked to that part of the human mind that we'd rather not acknowledge as real. As said a few times already in this video, human beings are capable of terrible things, and all of these acts and desires are fantastically demonstrated and showcased here through very subtle ways. Everything represents something that we'd prefer to deny, but here, you're forced to confront it and overcome it. And though we may be seeing disfigured and deformed monstrosities attacking other characters, or even attacking you, there's something disturbingly human about all of them, and it's only when the player recognises this does the real horror of Silent Hill 2 set in. A masterpiece of horror gaming, and one of gaming's most terrifying experiences, Silent Hill 2 rightfully takes the place of number one on this list. This really should have come out in October. But if you would rather we go back to October, then like this video, subscribe to my channel, and tell everyone of the world what you've just seen so that we can all enjoy the finer genre of gaming known as horror games. True of you out. Life is killing me.